Welcome back everybody, another episode of Grass Logic. Just wanted to show you another episode of the lawn. Before I do that though, check this out. This is one reason I love living in Alabama. Is we have so much wildlife in this state. And you know you're doing a good job on your lawn and your garden when you've got snakes. It's a beautiful snake, non-venomous. Just gonna go settle in there, find him a new home. Good for him or her. <laughs> and we're gonna just leave her in there because she's eating big bugs and beetles and all sorts of pests. Maybe even some rats or some mice. So watch her wiggle away. <laughs> she was like, Who touched me? Alrighty then, let's check out this zoysia. It's looking really great. Got a lot of progress so far. All I've been doing since my last video, which was a month ago, I've been cutting and feeding 10, 10, 10 and lime and putting down a fungal application and watering. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. That's why I titled my YouTube page Grass Logic because Grass is pretty simple, don't overdo it. It's just cut, water, and feed. And then put down any other applications as you need. So, this area right here used to be one of these plants. I'm just filling it in. And this area right here used to be a big tree. And I cut it down and now that's filling in with zoysia. It'll take a little bit of time. But what we do have so far is some awesome looking zoysia. It came back really strong this year. Super happy about it. It's looking good so far. This is a peach tree. It's already got some beautiful looking peaches on there. Gonna make some peach collar this year for sure. Usually I get about 10 but this year the tree is a little bit bigger. I'll probably get a few more. So let's get down here and look at this zoysia really quick. I'm gonna feed it today right after this video. And you can just see how thick it is put down that pre-emergent back when the grass was still dormant and it did a awesome job. It was an Anderson's pre-emergent recommended by the doc. If you watch his videos, he does an excellent Bermuda grass um, video series. Here's our trouble areas. These are the areas we're working hard to fill in. Just doing the regular routine, which is watering and feeding and just keeping that area moist planted this willow and it's in shock right now but I think it'll be okay and then out this way so this is like a zoysia Bermuda mix I said on one of my videos I was gonna kill this uh, Bermuda and just do zoysia but I actually the Bermuda is looking really good and so I decided to keep the Bermuda and keep the zoysia we're just gonna grow them both together and that area there I sprayed for weeds and uh, it's coming back so let's check out this area in here looking really good it's come back really strong this year so far the color looks really good so far if we get down here we can see how thick it is just gave it a little daytime water because it was extra hot and one nice thing is I'm not fighting as much Bermuda in this patch like I was last year where where I had to put an entire coating of fusillade on this lawn to get that Bermuda to die back Instead, we just have good old zoysia, and I'm happy about it. It's filling in nicely. It'll stay a little bumpy like that until uh, it fills in completely, and then it'll start looking really smooth, sort of like how this is, nice and smooth, and it'll get that nice flat top cutting. And uh, just filling this area in over here, and I extended my garden right here, and so looking forward to seeing that filling in. And the garden's looking really good too. So, yep, zoysia is coming along. Now is the time to be cutting your grass a lot and feeding it, giving it lots of water. So that way, when it gets super hot out, you're not gonna have problems with your grass drying up as quick and stuff like that. So one more thing I wanted to show you. One thing I love about zoysia is the edging. You can grow really tall edges with zoysia. 
I've got pretty tall edges all the way down except in that ugly patch and that's one thing I really like about it you can see that it's a little bit taller than my hand and uh, that's one thing about Bermuda it's not really an edge type of grass it's more of like a low cut super um, super level type of grass you know you just keep it real low with zoysia you can actually grow it taller and that's what makes it sort of a uh, what's the word um, ornamental type of grass so anyways appreciate you tuning in make sure to hit that subscribe button let me know what you think and I will give you an update soon all right everybody Happy growing.